Did you know that you can place a guardian turret on a garden chair and scare off your enemies? How about three turrets on a goo barrel? You can also team up with other players in ranked tournament to defeat the rage hacker together. My name is Chris and in this video we will go over 50 essential tips that I wish I knew sooner. You can actually use your zipline to get on top of the UFO when there is an alien invasion. Apparently there is a way to fly in the finals, you just need to place the zipline on top of the red barrel and watch it go. You can also get yourself out of the map on a practice range by using the red barrel. This is how the Rage Hacker looks in the finals. Play around your heavy shield, push them, use environmental stuff such as like C4 and barrels to blow them up while they are reloading. As a heavy player, you can collapse the whole building by using the jump pad and then jumping on the edge of a building with your charge slam. Super freaking satisfying. Instead of trying to melee a glass while holding a barrel with C-Force, try to right click to drop the item on the floor without exploding it and then pick it up again. If you are accurate enough, you can land nice Kobe's on a cash out. Apparently there is a very interesting bug in the game where if you have a riot shield equipped and you are stealing the cash out no matter whether you are standing or crouching and doing that so enemies are on your left side, your riot shield is going to be completely invisible and you would be able to steal cash outs that you would never be able to steal without it. You can finish off low HP targets by using your defibrillator on them. You can always choose an unpredictable route to climb windows instead of going up the ladder to surprise your enemies. If you want to find a comfortable sensitivity range for you, come to the edge and place your mouse on the left side of your mouse pad, move it to the right and make sure that you can do 360 freely. You can place goo in order to completely block off the flight of stairs. Hands down, the easiest way to play light class right now is to go for double barrel as you have the ability to one tap lights and two tap mediums and heavies if you are close enough. While approaching someone as heavy, pre-place your bubble for additional cover upon landing. You can control the crane to break buildings and cause chaos on the battlefield. You can launch yourself up in the air by shooting the red barrel. The most effective way to utilize your C4s is by placing them on a red barrel, throwing it to blow up multiple enemies with ease. Instead of shooting the zip lines, you can break them with your melee. It takes two attacks and you can wait for someone to ride it and kill him with the second one. When enemies see a strange target on a battlefield, it's really easy to become hyper-focused and forget about anything else. If you're looking for a wife, let me know in the comment section. While riding a zipline, you can go first and protect your team with your shield. If you want to win more ranked games in the finals, you can always join the competitive discord and look for the group. The link is in the description slide into a jump pad that's been placed on an uneven surface and then bunny hop a few times after to rotate faster around the map. If you don't have a barrel close to you, you can always use a flower pot in order to unleash your C4s. You can easily collapse the whole bridge on Seoul by placing a C4 below and RPGing it above. You can create a rolling ball of death by placing a goo inside of a barrier and placing a few C4s and mines on top of it. You can do an animation cancel on your bubble by selecting it and quickly right clicking after. Same goes for nades, you can throw a glitch grenade and follow it up with a frag or a gas to get the fastest animation possible. There is a way to collapse the whole building using a sledgehammer or if it's already semi-broken from all the environmental stuff, you can just go for an RPG on one of the main walls and watch them suffer. When choosing a team composition, make sure you have both heavy and medium because you want to have point presence as well as the ability to heal fast res and enable the heavy with zipline and jump pad movement. 
try to always start a fight with double C4 barrel or an RPG or the initial high burst damage in order for you to quickly finish an opponent before he gets healed. When you are loading into a match, pay close attention to the top right side of your screen. It will tell you which game mode and type of the map you are playing right now. For example, if you are playing heavy and you know that the map type is going to be close quarters, a lot of fights in the buildings, you would want to play shotgun, but if it's stuff like suspended structures, you can take a Lewis gun. While raising your teammates or stealing the cash out, you can always go for the crouch spam, making your head harder to hit. When placing your C4s in order to protect the cash out, remember that the cash out steal range is a lot further than you think it is, so try to place them a little bit outside of the range for you to blow them up. You can pre-activate any barrel in the game by using your melee button. Before the game starts, pay close attention to the compositions people play. Perhaps if a team does not have a heavy, you can tell that they will not be able to confidently steal the cash out. Or if they don't have a light player, you are not afraid to push alone. Very important to tank majority of the burst damage with your shield. Wait for enemies to reload and destroy them after. The easiest way to defend and steal the cash out is to approach from above. You can always choose the timing of your approach and targets that you would want to focus first. If you are not satisfied with the level of your mechanical aim, make sure that you go for Kovax or aim labs and spend 10 to 15 minutes working on your weaknesses. When you are forced to play in an open space and you have a medium medium heavy composition, make sure that you use your heavy as a wall to press W with his shield together. It will drastically improve your chances of survival and make you a very dangerous threat. Instead of climbing stairs or going for the window trick I showed earlier, use your medium jump pads and zip lines in order to start from above to gain advantage over your opponents and slowly work your way towards the end. Use your C4s in order to break the floors, use your RPG if necessary and 3, 2, 1 drop with a bubble and destroy targets that never expect you to do that. When playing suspended structures on Monaco, you can actually prepare the drop of the whole construction by placing C4s on top of the ropes. There are four ropes that holding the thing. You break two, it falls apart. When you are pushing the cash out, it's very important to take your time and let the teams fight each other. Let them waste their precious cooldowns, resources, get low so you can drop with your team on 3, 2, 1 with bubble and finish off everyone and steal the cash out safely. In comparison with what newer players are doing, they see that cash out is at half time. They are mindlessly pressing W on it just to die from cringe on the spot by being attacked by multiple teams. You can absolutely beam everyone on the map if you ping them and then ask your teammates to shoot them together using 3-2-1 method. This way you will get additional burst damage that will help you secure the kill in comparison with a person running away at 1 HP. When you are playing medium, don't forget that you are a support in the first place, especially if you are the only healer on the team. Make sure that everyone is alive and happy and buy pocketing them, you will achieve more than by letting them die and shooting opponents by yourself. If you experience FPS drops, stutters and lags, you can always lower your resolution to 4x3 stretched. I recommend using 1440x1080. Thank you very much for watching, see you guys next time.